Finger millet is an important subsistence crop for small-scale farmers and particularly for women in East Africa. Though it's highly nutritious and drought tolerant, finger millet is one of the most under-researched and underfunded cereal crops in the world. Its production is further threatened by the effects of climate change. Through the Crop Trust's Crop Wild Relatives project, breeders, scientists and farmers are harnessing traits from finger millet wild relatives to develop improved varieties. The initiative began in Kenya but has now been expanded to Tanzania, Ethiopia and Uganda through funding from the Templeton Wild Charity Foundation. The new varieties developed from these initiatives are expected to be more tolerant to extreme drought and more resistant to diseases such as blast and a parasitic weed called Striga. This data is publicly accessible in Germinate, a web-based open source and free-to-use database that allows breeders and researchers to organize their experimental data in accessible ways. Germinate is the main data distribution platform for 14 different crop wild relatives breeding projects. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to export genotypic data for visualization in tools such as Flapjack. Firstly, go to the left-hand Germinate menu and click on Genotypic Data. Then click on Genotypic Export. Genotypic datasets are now shown for finger millet. Select the Maseno map dataset by clicking next to it and click on Next. This page gives us our export options for the dataset. We can restrict the data to be exported based on groups. I now choose to export a flapjack format file. We will use this to visualize the genotypic data from this dataset. Click on Export and Germinate will export the data. Once completed, you will have a zipped folder on your computer with the data contained within it. Open this folder and double-click on the file ending with .flapjack. Flapjack will now open. If you don't have Flapjack installed, you can download it from our website. Flapjack lets you explore your marker data as shown here. These are the genotypes and these are the markers. Let's show you an example of a genotypic dataset of 91 individuals that were used to screen for resistance to blast disease at Kibo Station in Kenya. All cultivated varieties, starting from TZ4295 to Maseno 60D, appear very similar across the whole genome as opposed to the wild accessions such as TZ, UG11, EDL25-19, MSN10-27 that show high variability in their alleles. Breeders can also pick out cultivated genotypes such as IE4115, ES Rere, Gulu E, and Snapping Green that have introgressions of wild alleles. Some of these introgressions from the wild may be associated with desirable traits, and visualizing these differences can be very helpful to the breeder. This has been a very quick overview of Germinate, but will give you an idea of how you can get data from the platform. Why not have a play about and see what it can do? Go and explore!